What's up guys, it's Taryn here for another SimCraft guide. So, had a lot of questions and requests for this one, and we're gonna tell you how to sim your artifact traits, because this is this is a pain in the dick. This is a real pain in the dick. So, um, why is it so hard? Because in SimCraft, you have this giant ass string, and nobody knows what it does, except for one place. It's a friendly neighborhood, friendly neighborhood, Wow head. So, how do we do this? How do I identify what to do with this string? So, there's a couple ways. Um, you can fill this out and you can start adding in these things to find your relic. Pain in the ass, don't do that. Simpler way. So, we're gonna go and what we're gonna do is we're going to um, sim, just because it's quick, we're gonna sim um, going seven of seven in inherently unstable. For whatever reason, we've got a hard on for um, inherently unstable relics, and that's what we got. So we're now, we've got three inherently unstable relics, and we're gonna sim that. We're gonna see how, how to change that. So uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a copy. So what I have right now is I have a completely baseline um, sim. I, what I've done, so here's here's one one cool thing about SimCraft. So when you have a set of weapons, you've got a bunch of these bonus IDs and all this other shit that you can go and you look through and you can figure out what's the bonus ID to match your thing. You've got Titan Forge, you've got Titan Forge 2, 3, 4, you've got a 925 Braid Finder, Draft of Souls, you piece of shit. How do you represent that in SimCraft? It's very simple. You go to the item, right? So we're gonna go to our main hand and in game, find my game my main hand is 920 so what we've done is we've taken our main hand we've got our ID we got our bonus ID I don't know what that does for the artifact I'm not touching it though what is important is you can do comma eye level equals 920 boom item is now your your item of choice is at 920 you can do that to any of these things and pretend that you also have a 925 draft of souls cool so that's number one thing number one that we did we change this. Thing number two is we set um, we set this to a baseline uh, artifact. How do we know about that? So to explain a little bit how this works, all of these 9XX numbers right here for Warlock, these will be different for every class. For Affliction Warlock, all of our traits are 900 and something for our basic traits, right? And you'll see you've got 915 colon Four. What does that 915 stand for? It stands for one of our relics. I don't know off the top of my head, but it stands for um, one of them is at four. 916, four, right? That four is the rank that we're at. Cool, hope that makes sense. So the artifact is gonna be in this uh, format of, um, let me pull up a notepad here, right? So we're gonna be at like number, 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 colon, uh, rank number, right? So this rank number is actually uh, four. And we'll be at a number, and then we'll be at a th three because we suck, and then we'll be at number, 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 and then what we want to be say is, hey, we have seven of this thing. So we're gonna look at inherently unstable. How do we find that, right? So we go to our friendly neighborhood neighborhood wowhead. Go to tools, artifact, weapon calculator and then go to your spec. I am on Affliction Warlock, because that's what I play, because I'm a piece of shit. Go Reap Souls, Crystalline Shadows, and then we're gonna go two in whatever it is we wanna find, we wanna modify, why two? Um, we're actually gonna not do that, we're gonna do Perdition, right? So we're gonna go three in there, one, and we're gonna go two in Perdition. So we go to this link, and right here is the SimCraft string. So what you're gonna see is this 918 colon three, what is that? That is our three ranks in inherently unstable. Why did we go two? This is so that we can very quickly look through here and we can we can even go search colon to colon. Oh look, there's two. 920 is perdition. So we're gonna copy that, go to control F, 920, and we're gonna find it. Search backwards, there it is, right there. So we're gonna take this four, and we're gonna turn it into a seven. Actually, we're gonna hold that as a four. So what we're gonna do, we want to sim the difference, right? 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go down to our copy equals uh, perdition seven of seven. Okay, cool. So we're gonna copy that string and we're going to seven. Actually, we're gonna go to five uh, and then we're gonna do one other thing. So we're gonna take our main hand and we're gonna copy that one as well. So when you get a relic, you typically increase your item level of your weapon of some kind. We don't know exactly how much, but you know, it's gonna increase. Um, you can, it, the best way to, to gauge these is to gauge one item level of upgrade on that weapon, right? So every relic, you wanna assign yourself a base, uh, base weapon level. Um, really the best way to do that is to figure out what the weapon, weapon item level is without one relic, right? So whatever you're, if you have like a nine, 890 and 890, just figure out how to drop 59 item levels of that. So that would be like eight something. I don't know. I can't math in my head that quick, but figure that out. And that's what you put, and then you start incrementing that by one. Each relic, uh, every five item levels of relic alternates between one and two item level. You can go and you can figure out the relic item level and do all this other shit. It'd be a very tedious process. What I would do is just do one item level upgrade and just leave it at that. So we're gonna go and do this, okay? Um, so we have this five here. Um, we're gonna also try and figure out what um, our shadows is, right? So we're gonna go and go here and find that two, 921. Good, so we're gonna come here, find 921. Oops. No, don't close that. Okay, colon, 921. Okay. 921. Okay, so we're gonna go to five on that. Go to four on you. Cool. And we're leaving our item level at 920, right? We or 921. Our base rel, our base weapon is 920, 920. And we're going to 921 on this because we're pretending that we're getting a relic upgrade. You can even go as far as figuring out this is SI. This is this one. Rename these. I'm kind of doing this stuff on the fly, guys. Sorry. All right, there we go. So we're gonna do that, okay? And we can even go ahead and do this, and we can say okay, and we'll we'll do zero. Uh, we'll do two on the weapon on each of these. All right, and so we're gonna go. 22, 22, great, okay. So that should be enough profiles. Um, we're going to make sure that we have, I'm only gonna do 2,500 because I want this to be quick and we're gonna simulate. Cool, didn't crash, good. We didn't fuck up our, or fuck up our APL. All right, and that's gonna run. And then boom. Relic Sims. Cool. So, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll answer those. Questions in the chat, I'll answer you guys live. Thanks for watching.